بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا منسٹری آف ہائر ایجوکیشن ہاؤ ٹو ریسیو منسٹری آف ہائر ایجوکیشن ایکول ان سی ان کویت اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو اپلائی آن لائن آن ایم او ایچ ای ویب سائٹ ٹوڈیز آئی ول ڈسکس دس ٹاپک بیکاز مینی آف اور ادر نیشنلٹیز دے ہیو ریکویسٹیڈ to make a video on um, this topic in English because they are unable to understand uh, Urdu language. So on the request of uh, many colleagues, I, today I will discuss all uh, the procedure, document upload, how to do- uh, upload the documents and each and every uh, procedure I will discuss in English. So I will try my best to uh, clarify you each and everything uh, about Uh, Ministry of Higher Education, uh, how about, uh, about uh, how you will get the paper and what, ki- what kind of papers you will need and what kind of uh, processes you will have to follow to achieve your uh, higher education uh, equivalency for Ministry of Health in uh, Kuwait. First of all, uh, all your documents uh, should be attested uh, from your uh, home country Uh, that is um, uh, more of your country than uh, Kuwait Embassy in your country and uh, when you will uh, get your documents here back in Kuwait. So you must have uh, um, uh, attached your uh, document from uh, MOFA Kuwait because if any of your document is not attested from MOFA Kuwait, so uh, that will be rejected. Okay, so uh, first I will uh, start uh, for the people who did uh, generic BSN like uh, four year BSN category uh, is uh, for four years after four years they are uh, uh, doing their um, uh, internship so this uh, is called uh, generic BSN for the generic BSN they will only upload uh, their uh, one request uh, upload their documents on one request And for the people who, uh, who, who did uh, uh, post basic or uh, post RN, they have to, they have to make uh, different requested uh, requests for their uh, equivalency. Like uh, uh, first one request they will make for their diploma and the other uh, request they will make for uh, the bachelor degree. If a person, uh, he is um, uh, MSN, Masters in Nursing also, so uh, they should have uh, If, if he or she uh, did MSN after a uh, generic or uh, four-year degree, so uh, he or she should make uh, two requests, one for the BSN and one for uh, the MSN. If uh, um, a person, he did uh, a, a master's after a post-basic, so uh, he or she should have to make three requests. One request for uh, higher education, so I have one request for uh, this diploma, one request for uh, post RN and one request for the uh, masters. So let's go to uh, the system. I will show you how you will upload, how you will uh, fill out your uh, form, your MOHE form online and what steps you should follow. So let's go to uh, the screen and I will uh, share you the screen. So uh, first of all, you should have all your documents in a PDF format Uh, and you should keep it in uh, one folder that you can easily uh, upload your documents uh, on MOHE uh, website. So uh, let's suppose uh, this is a mid 10th certificate, uh, 10th mark sheet, then uh, if you're generic, so uh, this is a 12th certificate, 12th mark sheet, then BSN uh, degree and uh, BSN transcript as well. Uh, The letter you received from uh, Ministry of Health, so uh, this should be also uploaded on the MOH website and the edu- lower education or the private education equivalency which you have received from uh, private education or Ministry of Education uh, the, which is situated in um, Mubarak Al-Kabir area. So there, this, uh, this paper uh, you should have uh, in your uh, folder and you must have uh, converted in uh, PDF file. So how you will upload? Uh, let's see the procedure how you will uh, upload your documents. And I will request uh, one thing that uh, if you are uh, uploading your documents you should use a laptop because if you are 
uh, using a com uh, mobile phone so you will make uh, you will uh, have uh, to face a lot of problems so uh, the suggestion which i will give that will be uh, use your laptop or your computer so uh, open any of your browser in your browser i will mention uh, this uh, ministry of higher education uh, website as well but i have already saved it in my um, bookmarks so this is the ministry of uh, higher education website first of all if you're logging for the first time and you don't have uh, any uh, account so you have to come down and uh, here you can see this is uh, create a new account you will click create a new account and then you have to fill all your data here you will fill all your data here and uh, just uh, once you will uh, complete your data so you have to uh, create uh, on uh, you have to click the create as uh, you will create I will show you because I think this okay see here is create so uh, once you will uh, fill all these data just remember one thing any area which uh, having uh, this red steric so must you must have to fill uh, this area without if you will leave uh, any of uh, this part so uh, you will not able to uh, create your login uh, on this uh, website okay then uh, once you will create once you will fill all your documents uh, you have to uh, create here you will create uh, the account once you create the account you will see this type of uh, interface so uh, this in this interface you will uh, find a two type of login you can uh, log in through uh, two different ways uh, one is P uh, PACA authentication once you will write your civil ID number so you will get notification on your uh, mobile phone and you have to uh, authenticate uh, through your uh, Kuwait ID mobile Kuwait ID and if uh, you want to uh, log in through your uh, password uh, password uh, which you already just uh, wrote so uh, click here uh, this uh, page will be changed and uh, you will write your uh, civil id number let's suppose uh, uh, i'll write my civil id number sorry uh, i will write my civil id number okay this is my civil id number in this i will uh, write my password Here, I will click on login. See, my page is open. Here, you will see uh, welcome to the equivalency online system. Okay. Now, uh, if I will see my uh, uh, request, so here, this is list of request which I don't have. I, I don't have any uh, request. So I will tell you. Uh, how you have to uh, prepare uh, and uh, to make your uh, request for the first time so here you will see a list of requests new request and view profile so if you want to check your profile so you can check from here as well okay now I will start from the people who did uh, uh, generic BSCN so they must only apply here with a new request and here they should fill all the data okay they will make one request here for the uh, degree uh, purpose for the uh, bsn and if someone have uh, done uh, post rn or a post basic so here they will start with the diploma okay so let's see uh, i will start uh, uh, with the degree so uh, first of all uh, once you click here on a new request you will see your uh, name and uh, civil ID number all the thing you will see here I will select a certificate for the equivalency uh, please just be concentrate here because many of the people uh, they are asking that how we can uh, apply through uh, uh, MOHE website and uh, they don't know how to fill it so uh, today I will discuss all the things that how you will fill it. 
so here certificate for equivalency i will select i will if i am uh generic bsn i i'm only applying for the degree so i will apply bachelor's if i am applying for a diploma so uh, i will uh, apply for the uh, diploma because as already i told that some people who did uh, post basic so first they have to uh, create uh, a request for a diploma and then for the bachelor's okay so here i'm making a request for the bachelor's for the bachelor's in uh, which country uh, did you uh, study it so write the country name here you should uh, write uh, which city you studied so you you can write the uh, uh, city name now here uh, i have uh, filled all the data here uh, see this is bachelor pakistan islamabad all this data i have filled here you will write your uh, start a degree starting date here uh, degree ending date here you have to write a full time okay if you are full time part time most of uh, the people they are doing full time then uh, your student classification if you are study leave scholarship whatever you are so you have to uh, mention that then uh, uh, you have okay accepted transfer credit form uh, if uh, for example if you have studied uh, one year in one college or one university and then you took transfer so uh, and uh, you continue your study in other university so that's mean if you have transferred your uh, credit hours so most of the people uh, they are not doing like that they have just they are just starting um, their degrees in one university and, uh, until uh, they complete so they are uh, there okay so no, no need to select any of them then here many people they are uh, confusing here that have you ever got your uh, evaluation no oh no because i am applying for the first time so i will apply, uh, write select i will select no now here evaluation request from so we are requesting from ministry of higher education so here we will write uh, m o h e now here see i have already filled all the uh, uh, areas so i will select next now here in uh, this step to nothing uh, you have to mention just uh, click the next and once you click the next next here this is the main and the most important place where you are uh, uploading your documents so first of all the areas uh, or the categories which is with red uh, um, ink and having steric so you must upload all these things first of all you have to uh, uh, upload your uh, transcript or graduation attested certificate then transfer credits if you you have and here the base of admission for the previous degree many people they are confused that what is the uh, meaning of base of admission previous degree for example uh, you are uh, generic bsn you did uh, generic so for uh, the generic bsn the base is 12th education fsc is the base for uh, uh, the, B, uh, the base for bsn for example when you will pass 10th so you are not able to get admission in uh, bachelor's you have to pass 12th standard then you will uh, uh, take admission in uh, uh, bachelor's so for the bachelor's the uh, base of admission is 12th standard so here you will upload uh, uh, 12th standard and uh, degree and here transcript if you are uh, uploading these uh, documents for diploma so for the diploma the base of admission will be your 10th standard and if you are uploading these documents for masters so for the masters you will upload uh, you will upload the uh, as a base uh, you will upload uh, your uh, uh, BSN uh, degree and or BSN equivalency which you will receive from Ministry of Higher Education. Okay. Okay. So uh, due to privacy, uh, something I cannot show. 
Uh, but I will uh, discuss you that how you will upload and which document you will upload in uh, which areas. Okay. So uh, first of all, I will uh, select the graduation certificate attested. But the, remember one thing: every document should be uh, attested. So I will upload first. Uh, uh, see, this is a graduation certificate attested. I will choose from here. Here, see, this must be PDF. So I will uh, choose documents here. I am choosing this is degree. I will choose degree. Okay. Here, I, will, I have uploaded, uh, selected degree, and I will save the attachment from here okay see it's it's adding here now i will select uh transcript uh base of admission uh a transcript sorry a uh, base of uh, admission i will uh, select the 12th but before that i have so i have to upload the transcript okay so i have selected the transcript i will now i will upload uh bsn uh, transcript okay open it here i will save the file now here i will select base of admission previous degree so the base of admission previous degree is my 12th uh, standard so i will select 12th standard certificate here i will save the attachments then for base of admission previous transcript so i have to upload the 12th standard uh, mark sheet i have also here uh, save attachments here for uh, here this is uh, uh, less uh, a letter from a uh, jobless so the letter which you received from Ministry of Health, uh, which is a covering letter, you have to upload the covering letter over here. Okay, I have selected and I have attach save attachment. Then I have to upload my civil ID. I choose the file. Then I'll upload the civil ID. I upload the civil ID. I'll save the attachment. Then I have to upload a uh, copy passport I'll select and I will upload my passport as well I'll save it in the last I have to uh, come here and here you will see a response letter from Ministry of uh, Higher Education Ministry of Education MOHE uh, sorry moe ministry of education see this is response letter from uh, moe so i will upload the document which i received uh, from moe which is my lower education equivalency so i will attach it attach it now my documents almost uh, they are completed now i will uh, select next once I will select the next, please review your request because uh, if you will uh, do any mistake, so uh, you uh, you will uh, correct, correct it only from uh, the IT department over there. Okay, so first of all, you have to check all your uh, documents and uh, you will have to see all the data. So, okay, my data is okay. So I will go for next. Okay, please see here please confirm your request if your documents you have uploaded correct so you have to confirm your request okay i'll i have confirmed my request i will click here so after that now you will see this message that your request has been submitted to the ministry okay so all the documents which you have um, uh, uploaded they have um, um, they are they are already successful um, submitted to the ministry now ministry of higher education uh, they will uh, uh, see for the documents that 
uh, what kind of documents you have uploaded and all these things they, they have their own process but they would please visit the ministry of higher education for signing the paper you have to visit after once you will uh, fill your document uh, fill your uh, application you have to uh, visit uh, the MOHE, uh, which is sanabel tower uh, back side of amiri hospital for Kuwaitis, please visit main power. We are uh, for Kuwaitis is different, and then for non Kuwaitis is different. To look at the requirement for the allowance, please click here. This is something new I'm seeing for the first time, I think. So, uh, but once you will upload all your documents, you have to take an appointment. How you will take appointment? I will show you the appointment process as well. Uh, you will go to uh, Meta. Okay, uh, Meta Kuwait just. Uh, search Meta Kuwait and from the Meta Kuwait uh, you will uh, see this uh, portal you have to uh, take appointment uh, through this uh, Meta Kuwait portal you will write your cell ID number and password and uh, just you will uh, log in from here you will search your uh, appointment and you have to uh, search for Ministry of uh, Higher Education here I will just see uh, I will show you how to uh, take okay see this is Ministry of Higher Education so you will uh, come here you will click service categories for here you will uh, uh, see uh, services and in the last you will come for the uh, option which is equivalency uh, uh, reception for foreign uh, countries foreign countries so you will apply here once you will apply just apply again and you will have to check the slot if once you will uh, see any uh, blank slot or uh, empty slot so you will uh, click on the date or uh, in a time and then you will uh, take your appointment because nowadays it's uh, due to too much uh, rush you will not able to find the uh, appointment easily so all this was about uh, uh, the ministry of higher education equivalency process hopefully uh, uh, you have understand the, all the procedure if uh, you have any query uh, if you have any doubts you can write me you can comment me uh, i'll try to explain all this thing in uh, detail and, um, and last share the video with your colleagues that uh, they can also get a help uh, if they are doing their um, uh, uh, higher education equivalency and uh, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon that you can get all the latest videos uh, regarding uh, Kuwait processes. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.